so my background uh, is uh, attorney. So I may be looking uh, of the topic from the different uh, angle a little bit uh, today. As the last speaker, uh, I was asked to discuss uh, maybe a little bit of the governmental view of how to engage actually the private uh, sector into this uh, personal uh, medicine uh, sector and what we see in the future coming up. Uh, sadly, I must tell you that I will not tell you all the final truth now today because we are still undergoing the discussion on this topic and actually it's, um, uh, well, it's the big, it's bigger topic to tackle than uh, maybe initially planned. Uh, so, but I'm giving you a short uh, idea what we are doing at the moment. Uh, in Estonia, we have uh, this strategic framework that actually was shown to you uh, by Kalle Giller uh, yesterday. It's a national digital agenda. It's a completely brand new strategy document. And if you kind of think what it says, then I made here uh, uh, this kind of uh, word cloud that you see that these are actually the main or the key points what we are aiming with this uh, digital strategy. So it's a uh, Digital, new digital solutions, future solutions, but also there is a keyword of health services, digital life, and uh, and how we see and we we use the data in our uh, Estonian system and what we do with this data. So this is the uh, this kind of strategy framework, and I think it's really interesting from that from all this uh, summary from this uh, strategy framework, if you create this uh, cloud word, then actually the only sector that is specifically mentioned there is health. So therefore I see that uh, this is something that is really like a core focus point uh, for Estonian um, digital nation. But if we think uh, to the personal medicine system, then we see that uh, we need to create this kind of a new ecosystem to actually use the, the benefits that there is for everybody to gain. So we need to learn how to use the data. We need to use the data for actually come up with efficient individualized solutions. And we need to find the proper uh, financing and business models for actually doing all of this. So data, this is the, if you think back that I was saying that I was actually practicing attorney. So my main, well, my clients were actually a private sector. Yeah, what they want, they want access to the data. They want to know how they could get access, what they could use with it and uh, what would be the uh, outcome, how they could turn it into a profitable uh, profitable product. So this is uh, what the private sector actually is after. So therefore, we need to think as now from the side of the state, how to make these kind of uh, data sharing models uh, feasible also with the private sector, how to collect better, how to collect it in a way that it will be um, in a format that it could be shared, how to protect it actually also, how to grow the data, how to combine the data between different systems and how to share and use it. So next one is individualized solutions. These are the aim that uh, we would like to get out of this, uh, um, this kind of cooperation with the uh, private sector. We would actually want to see that there would be these beneficial solutions uh, that we could implement into a healthcare and into the personalized healthcare system. As the previous uh, uh, presenter was saying that actually this mainstreaming counseling, this would be something where uh, a private sector could really easily kick in to actually develop these kind of solutions that would help us to, to do it, not to be dependent only face-to-face -face, uh, uh, consultations. Uh, what else? And then lastly, yeah, financing models and business models. We have been hearing two days here about the uh, personalized medicine implementation plan, but the, from the state side, we always need to take care of the fact that the resources are limited. So, so how we actually create this kind of systems and new services that would be uh, beneficial and cost efficient in the longer run. And there is also a discussion point, a discussion point at the moment. It's not yet finally like uh, clear and uh, decided and and so on.
So what we see, who are the players in the private sector that might be interested in cooperating with us? Uh, okay, it doesn't uh, make the animation here. Okay, then I have this. Uh, these are the pink ones. So these are the pink ones that we see that we should actually uh, bring along and have a discussion with uh, how to how to use this data, how to create these individualized solutions, how to actually come up with the best plan uh, uh, for Estonian health uh, system. These are, of course, medical technology developers, pharma industry, diagnostics, uh, uh, the general technology industry as well, because uh, we, we, we cannot only assume that uh, we are dealing with the health uh, uh, technology. We actually need underlying uh, technical solutions. Either, either it would be like uh, cybersecurity uh, professionals or services, uh, all sorts of different uh, stakeholders that we would need to bring together to actually discuss how we would benefit uh, from all of it. And lastly, also uh, investors interested in this sector and healthcare providers uh, operating in a, in a private uh, sector. Mm. So, but what we need to consider when we are dealing with uh, patient data and uh, patient uh, either health or genomics data, uh, we need to put into the central actually the patient and their uh, worries, their interests, but also their trust to the system. I think this is like the most, uh, uh, this kind of important thing that we need to keep always in mind that uh, the system should be built in this way that we don't lose this trust. And in the previous uh, presentations today and yesterday, we have seen that actually Estonians are really trusting our biobank. And this has been the, uh, this kind of underlying success uh, cornerstone, I would say, and we need to keep it this way. So therefore, uh, in a digital agenda, these principles that we really need to follow is actually the, the protection of fundamental rights and also the protection of privacy. This must be like the cornerstone of everything. We need to make sure that people understand there is transparency, what for their data is used, who is using their data and what is happening with this. Mm transparency and trustworthiness, as I said. Uh, technological neutrality is also the principle that needs to be applied. We shouldn't lock into some technology available or some technology currently under development. We need to have a system which is uh, flexible, which is um, uh, coming or following the trends either in Estonia or in uh, internationally. So it would be uh, in a position that we can uh, uh, switch the providers, we can uh, uh, use different technologies, we can add different technologies. So this has been always the principle of Estonian uh, ICT sector or the uh, Estonian state uh, sector as well, that we need to build the systems that are flexible in this way, but at the same time, of course, uh, secure. And we need to really emphasize that there needs to be cooperation uh, with the private sector, with the public sector, and also with the academia, and not only in inter like nationally, but also internationally, that to really build this system, because this is something completely new what we are doing at the moment. And, and as I heard a couple of days ago, that this is the place where we understand that we actually need to uh, knock our knees uh, in blood, in a sense that that we actually fall and uh, learn at the moment that this is not something that is ready or or somebody has done it before and we can actually copy it from somewhere we are uh, doing really agile project uh, in a sense and we are learning as we are doing it uh, innovative solutions out of box thinking of course we are uh, saying that uh, the security and the interest of the patients needs to be uh, the key, the focal point. But at the same time, we need to be uh, willing to think wider and uh, to the longer perspectives than only today, tomorrow, and maybe five days. That uh, something new is always scary, but uh, 
this is the thing. And uh, we do digital in a, but at the same time, environmental protecting way and digital solutions need to be available in an Estonian language. Also the, this kind of uh, underlying principle of our digital agenda, because actually we see that there is a lot of things happening in the world but at the same time, we must uh, make sure that everybody, especially patients, would understand what they are uh, getting and what uh, solution they are using and what is it for and so forth. Um, okay, but uh, I will just click it through, then it's uh, in front of you. Uh, what we have been thinking, uh, one thing that is under the discussion at the moment in Estonia is uh, establishment of uh, DigiNest. It's a state-owned uh, uh, company for actually uh, making it more easy to uh, share the data with the potential interest uh, groups, uh, unlocking the value of the data and uh, in, the, in the long run also to improve the quality of the, of the healthcare. So what is actually the DigiNest? DigiNest is uh, this kind of state-owned, uh, uh, I would say that it's, it's more like an entity bringing together all the interested parties because currently it's not uh, considered as a platform as such, but it will be the mediator of all the potential uh, interest groups and also the, uh, the data uh, controllers who actually hold the data, who would uh, give access to the data, but uh, DigiNest would uh, handle the uh, project coordination, data governance, uh, legal problems, negotiations, partnership management, uh, would check that all the systems actually wanting to access uh, would be uh, uh, secure, data, GDPR, uh, requirements are fulfilled and all this part that is actually quite burdensome for every entity to do it uh, independently. So we would actually uh, uh, make it more cost efficient in uh, operational and management uh, uh, sense. So the, um, it would be a mediator and the platform as such where the exchange would happen, uh, this is under, the, under uh, discussion whether it would be, there is different like uh, options where such platform could be built. Uh, one of the options is also Estonian Health and Welfare Information System Center, uh, which is actually currently like piloting uh, uh, some, some part of it. So, so we are really thinking how to make it uh, work in a, in a long run. Uh, not to have this kind of one-to-one -one, uh, discussions with all the different uh, databases. As I know that also Estonian uh, Biobank is uh, considering some of their own in initiatives, therefore, therefore I'm not uh, discussing these here, but uh, most probably you can uh, just ask it what is in their plans uh, uh, later on. Okay, but uh, to continue, Mm. I would, there was some animations, but I will just click them through. And then, of course, as I said, that one of the interests is data, where the private sector is aiming to. And uh, another part of the story that there is actually also services uh, developed by, by the private sector, whether it would be uh, already specific medical devices or whether it would be genetic uh, tests, uh, what they are aiming to offer. So these are the another like kind of business line of the private sector where they could kick into the personalized uh, medicine scene. So in this regard, we had yesterday a really interesting discussion with uh, with the private sector representatives and uh, and the question is uh, um, questions were actually that whether a state is uh, aiming to uh, uh, regulate something further than uh, IVDR is uh, uh, stating to us whether state is aiming to regulate for example quality requirements to the uh, genetic uh, to the uh, medical laboratories during genetic testing. Uh, so there is a question how actually the results that the private uh, entities uh, making the, conducting the genetic testing, how these results could be uh, uh, 
integrated into the Estonian national health system, whether it would be feasible, whether it's not feasible. So uh, there is also the smart uh, devices and diagnostics, uh, diagnostics development uh, uh, happening. Uh, also, uh, how and what they could do uh, and what uh, we would take from the national side and actually use in our system uh, to provide the health services. So this is all like a big discussion and I cannot say to you any any final words what uh, direction Estonia is uh, really going, but uh, we are currently uh, preparing for the legislative proposal uh, to implement the personal medicine uh, projects, uh, what has been discussed uh, before. Uh, and there in this uh, surrounding, we are also seeing what uh, we could actually uh, regulate and what we have to regulate in regard of uh, also these individualized solutions in uh, uh, provided by the private sector, especially in regard of directory consumer genetic uh, testing, because in Estonia this area is completely un unregulated at the moment. And the question mark is that whether we need to regulate it or, or, uh, or we, we uh, don't need to do anything. But, uh, but the question marks are definitely uh, there. So, uh, challenges, uh, what I have been saying uh, before and what I have been seeing uh, while talking to the uh, private sector as well and uh, while working with the, with the whole project uh, from the legal perspective. Uh, it's the key, I think, still is to keep the trust of the data subjects, how we make sure that uh, that uh, the people will not get uh, worried either by uh, data sharing or or uh, the solutions provided. How we keep that uh, the subjects trust the system, trust the uh, services, trust the uh, devices. So this is uh, this is the key. It's not really like a legal question, but but in somewhat uh, we need to keep it always in mind when. Uh, thinking about different uh, interests uh, that we need to balance here. Uh, uh, then it, it has been a question mark how we will go further with Estonian uh, uh, personal medicine governance model, because currently we do this uh, project for particular services. And this is like a project entity, I would say, that we are, uh, we are using. It's a project vehicle. The parties are defined uh, for the uh, fulfilling the project aims, but uh, how we will go further, this uh, this needs to be discussed. Uh, also, the change of mentality in a wider sense that not only to use the data or to, to collect the data at the moment to provide current service, but actually for using the data for the innovation. And this is something, this mental shift that needs to be really, I would say, encouraged, but at the same time, to keep in mind that uh, uh, secure security and cyber security and data protection is the key, how you will make the shift as well. And uh, to create the functional resource efficient uh, uh, and not uh, duplicating cooperation models, I think this is also really important because we are such a small nation and we, we shouldn't waste uh, either the brains or the resources, the financial resources. So we really need to focus what we are doing and how we will do it together. Uh, and the creation of pricing models to in incentivize uh, uh, different uh, projects to, in regard of data analytics and in innovation. I think this is also something that we really need to uh, kind of discuss further how we will actually get there. And uh, yeah, how to combine the provision of private and public uh, personal medicine services uh, in regard of either prevention or can, uh, and taking into consideration also the care continuity, because the question is always that if you get the results, what will happen next? So the what will happen next needs to be resolved. It's not only to provide the results. Uh, yeah, the financing is the key to all of it, I would say. In the end, sadly, we don't have today here Estonian uh, 
health fund who would maybe talk more about this topic, but but we understand that we always keep in mind that uh, our resources are limited. So this was uh, this kind of brief overview or helicopter view what we are doing in uh, ministry and uh, thinking in regard of uh, like personal sector engagement into the into the system.